Thank you very much for the opportunity to talk here. So, uh, and uh, I'm sorry for the uh, uh, mess with the title and abstract, which on which didn't appear on the on the website. Uh, so, my goal for today is to uh, show how the uh, circle of methods uh, related to uh, Sosnikov's universality theorem can be applied to something uh, somewhat related to the. Uh, second half of the title of this uh, year, to, uh, and in particular to uh, 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 line ensembles, which are somewhat, let's say, somewhat related to KPC. I don't uh, claim a very direct relation. So uh, let me first let me first uh, 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 briefly remind you what is uh, Sosnikov's uh, universality theorem. And then I'll uh, tell you about the uh, extension and also tell you a bit about the proof. So, uh, so what does uh, 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 what does is, what does is this uh, theorem say? So we we, we consider a, a large uh, n by n uh, Wigner matrix. Uh, usually, uh, usually this, these matrices don't have any connection to one another, but let's just to simplify our notation and also for the second uh, part of the talk, uh, assume that they're kind of cut out of one uh, infinite uh, 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 matrix uh, H for which we, we, we need to assume something. So as usual, we'll uh, consider the complex Hermitian and real symmetric cases simultaneously. So, uh, 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 so, so what we'll assume is that the entries above the diagonal are independent, that uh, all the entries are mean, uh, well, they have zero mean, and that uh, 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 the uh, uh, variances are uh, uh, equal to uh, one at least when uh, uh, when uh, i is not equal to j and uh, 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 the expectation of h a j squared. Well, in the real symmetric case, this is the same as this, uh, uh, and in the complex uh, Hermitian case, we'll assume that it's uh, zero. So uh, this is what equals one, and this is what equals two. And uh, in addition to in addition to all. Uh, uh, this will uh, assume some uh, technical uh, assumptions, uh, which uh, in the original uh, work of Sochnikov basically say that uh, these entries have uh, sub-Gaussian tails and, are, and uh, the distributions are symmetric, uh, but we'll, we'll discuss it later. So, so in uh, 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 so, so in 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 this uh, 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 setting, okay. Uh, so uh, let's let's denote by xi one uh, to xi n the eigenvalues of uh, this matrix H n, and uh, in first approximation they are given by uh, Wigner's uh, uh, law. So uh, the empirical spectral density, the sum of delta functions at all these eigenvalues after we rescale them properly. Uh, uh, properly means by 2 square root of n uh, uh, is, is approximately uh, 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 2 over pi square root of 1 minus y uh, squared in the, in the sense of uh, weak convergence and uh, convergence and distribution uh, as n goes to infinity. So, uh, uh, so we have the, we have the we have the semicircle, uh, and uh, the semicircle itself, and, and, and in this talk we are interested in the edge of the spectrum. So the, the quadratic singularity of the, sem of the semicircle itself suggests uh, how uh, we should uh, rescale them to, to get a meaningful uh, scaling limit at the edge. So, so we will set lambda j to be uh, oh my two are always wrong. So n to the n to the one over uh, six times. Uh, uh, Cj uh, n minus two square root of n, so uh, we, we shift it to, to, to zero and uh, multiply by uh, so, so the calculations will be a further one, and then and then uh, so this what this is for example what the scaling should be if, if the eigenvalues were independently sampled from this measure, so just uh, uh, the scaling is suggested by the square root singularity, and then and then uh, 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 Sochnikov's uh, 
theorem uh, uh, states that uh, states that uh, uh, this decreasing sequence of uh, random numbers uh, converges in distribution as uh, n goes to infinity to to a uh, uh, sequ to a decreasing sequence of uh, random numbers which is which is universal so this uh, this uh, 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 decreasing sequence of numbers depends only uh, on uh, uh, whether we're in the uh, real uh, symmetric or complex Hermitian case. Is this thing given from this one six or one this? This is one six. Uh, yeah, it should be well, after you divide by square root of n, it should be n to the two thirds, so it's uh, one uh, six unless I. The, the, the eigenvalues are of order are between minus square root of n and plus square root of n, so, so if you want to get one to the two third, uh, to if, uh, if uh, some of you are used to the two third, you should divide <laughs> it by square root of n and multiply by square root of n. I hope, I hope uh, uh, one half plus one six is two third, if, if, if I uh, 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 didn't go crazy yet. Okay, so, so this is the theorem, which is uh, 15 uh, 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 years. Uh, No, it's uh, the fluctuations are into the minus uh, two thirds. So if they're for the one, it should multiply by into the plus two thirds. So so uh, uh, one six plus one half is two third. <laughs> this is a, basically the limit of what I'm able to do near the blackboard. But but but. Uh <laughs> Okay, so, so now uh, I should comment that this model has a special integrable case, which for the, in the real case is the Gaussian orthogonal ensemble, and, uh, and in, in the uh, complex Hermitian case uh, is the Gaussian unitary ensemble when, when the eigenvalues before the limit form a determinantal process uh, or a Pathian process. Uh, so, and, and these were studied before uh, Sochnikov in the early 90s uh, by. Uh, uh, by uh, uh, Trace and Widom by uh, Forrester uh, who, obtained, uh, who obtained a nice uh, description of the limiting process uh, as a determinantal uh, or Pathian process and, uh, and, uh, and, and so in this case we have a complete uh, answer. And, and fin uh, finally, uh, so before we switch to, 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 to the next uh, topic, I would like to mention that uh, since Soshnikov there was some work on relaxing these technical assumptions and uh, uh, recent, recently, uh, 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 Li and Yin uh, uh, managed to, to uh, relax uh, the technical uh, uh, assumptions uh, uh, to the minimum. Uh, minimum means that minimum means that uh, uh, their condition is necessary and sufficient. So this is uh, uh, these are the preliminaries, but today I would like to uh, uh, highlight a different facet. So 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 this is a kind of uh, uh, universality theorem, which says that the limit uh, is is uh, is uh, doesn't depend on uh, which matrix we choose. Uh, 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 there are other approaches to universality uh, by uh, starting from the which were uh, devised for universality in the in the bulk by Erdstein, Yao, and Many other people uh, who, are, who are here, let's call it uh, the, uh, the Harvard group. So, so, in the, so this this work is also based on the on the on the Harvard approach to to to, uh, to universality, and and uh, it seems that this approach is is uh, is more powerful and, and in general. But but uh, but uh, Sochnikov's method, the combinatorial methods uh, uh, of Sochnikov and their ramifications have have another facet that they actually give a, an explicit dis description. Of, of the limit and not only universality, and uh, it's it's not very uh, fascinating here because here we have a much more compact, uh, explicit d d description. But but uh, uh, there are other problems in which uh, uh, right now uh, there is no other description. So so this is uh, uh, the one which uh, uh, this allows to get uh, some description at least. Okay. So 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 now let, now let me state uh, let me state the problem and uh, explain what. Can be done. So, so the setting below is borrowed from uh, 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 from the series of talks which Alexei Berdin uh, gave here uh, a couple of months uh, 
ago, so uh, and and also from his uh, paper from uh, from two years ago maybe. So uh, instead, uh, so we, we we still consider a random an infinite random matrix, but now we we kind of add two parameters. First of all, we allow our matrix evolve uh, with time. So so H undergoes uh, stochastic evolution, and. Uh, uh, then, uh, so we'll keep all these assumptions, but now I need to tell you uh, what the covariances between different uh, times are. And, uh, and uh, uh, I mean, we won't assume uh, anything very surprising. We'll assume that the covariance between the, uh, the, ent the UV and uh, the IJ entry of tau, uh, time tau 1 and the uh, uh, same entry time tau 2. Uh, is, is equal to uh, one, and that uh, uh, the expectation of the same thing without the complex conjugate uh, is, uh, 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 oh, what am I writing? I'm sorry. Uh, uh, it's one minus, one minus uh, uh, the distance between the, otherwise it doesn't evolve at all. Uh, one minus the distance between the times plus uh, something small, so little o of uh, tau one plus tau two. And uh, uh, the, the, uh, without the conjugate, it should be the same if we're in the real case and, and uh, zero if we're in the complex case. So uh, I mean, th this assumption is the, the, the only natural, this normalization is the only natural one since, uh, I mean, generic, this is the generic case up to, up to scaling. Yeah. I'm thinking about everything happening near zero since I'm about to rescale everything near, uh, to do a scaling in which we get uh, a meaningful scaling limit. Uh, yeah, that will, that's what's going to happen in a, in a, in a second. And uh, uh, yeah, so I, I mean, the, this is, uh, all these assumptions are about zero. I mean, uh, and then uh, instead of looking, and another parameter which we had, instead of looking at the eigenvalues we, uh, of one uh, corner, we look at all of them together. So we have the eigenvalues. Uh, at level uh, n, this is the picture uh, which we saw in uh, uh, Alexei's uh, talks here. Uh, and below it, uh, uh, we have the eigenvalues from 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 the next level, uh, which interlace with with the uh, with those of the first level. So there are uh, inequalities in this form and so forth. Okay, so so. You, uh, I'll give you, yeah, one, one second. Yeah, you can think about as it as a Zornstein Nullenberg, but you can think about anything else. Uh, okay, uh, well, well, I'll answer you in, in, in one second. So, so, so if we look at all of this at one fixed uh, time, this is what uh, uh, this is a triangular uh, uh, array, which which uh, and um, so they they kind of feel a, 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 a parabola uh, like this. This is the, the this is the axis of uh, n, and this is the axis of the spectral axis. Uh, uh, and, and and all this picture also evolves in in time, so we can think of uh, well, it goes in that direction. And now we want what we want to do is we, we want to uh, 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 scale uh, to, to to do to get a scaling limit in the edge. So 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 let me first uh, answer Herbert's question. So indeed, uh, two example uh, the, the two main examples. One is uh, Ornstein Ullenberg or or Brownian mo motion when you rescale it. Uh, but another example you can just uh, have a resampled, uh, pick, take a matrix uh, like this and uh, resum and put a Poisson clock uh, at every uh, uh, at every entry, an independent Poisson clock, and just resample them at, uh, with intensity one, uh, all the entries independently. So, so I mean, uh, everything that I'm about to say doesn't depend on anything beyond uh, beyond uh, this assumption. So, so okay. Now, now. Uh, now uh, we want to construct uh, a scaling limit. So to get a scaling limit, we want to uh, 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 scale the eigenvalues in in, uh, in this way. But now we also need to scale these two parameters n and uh, t. So so uh, n and tau. So we need to uh, uh, stretch tau by. So uh, we'll have a large parameter m, which is basically the uh, 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 where n, uh, where the size of the, the, the size of the matrix, uh, and uh, so it will go to infinity. Now we rescale tau. Uh, 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 so, so tau has uh, to be uh, uh, 
uh, by, by so, so we we'll let uh, we'll let tau to be s over m uh, to the one third. So, so we rescale we stretch tau by m to the one third, and we uh, also rescale the uh, the, the uh, number of the corner to find n to be uh, dependent on n uh, to be m uh, pl uh, times one plus two t over m to the one third. So instead of instead of tau and then we have two new uh, new variables s and t which will be uh, now of order of order one and now we define uh, uh, lambda j with the left subscript m which depends on s and uh, t to be b by exactly uh, 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 th this formula so it's m to the one over six times uh, 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 times uh, c j at uh, n uh, uh, tau minus two uh, square root of uh, uh, n, where uh, where n depends on uh, on t in this way and tau depends on s in, in, in this way. Uh. Yeah, I, I'm confused. Here. So you got what's the m and the n? Uh, so this is a su this is a subscript. I have many subscripts, so I use both left, upper left, uh, uh, lower left. I'm sorry. So okay, so. Where, where, where is the m first of all? M is my large parameter, which is where uh, uh, m the size of the of the matrix will fluctuate, will be uh, rescaled around around this m. So how how exactly I will look at matrices of size m plus corrections of order m to the two thirds. And uh, T will be the rescaled uh, size of the matrix. So, so T is the parameter which oh, tells. T, T, uh, T and the tau are different, right? No, okay, so ta ta I rescaled tau to S and I rescaled N to T. I, I had two parameters, uh, the n size of the corner and, and, uh, and the time and the time, and I got two parameters S and T. You uh, luckily you don't have to remember which goes where since in the before the before the limit they they uh, they enter in quite a different way one is discrete one is continuous but after the limit they will enter symmetrically so uh, so uh, if uh, <laughs> so at least uh, you need to remember one index okay. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I'll, I'll show. I'll, uh, I'll show a proof, but I'll, I'll show. <laughs> let me state. Uh, let me state the. Let me state the. the, the th uh, 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 so, so, so for now we got a decrease, a random decrease in uh, sequence of functions of two variables, uh, lambda one of s uh, t uh, greater than lambda uh, two of uh, s t, and uh, so forth. And now let me state. Uh, uh, let me state uh, what. what uh, what one can show. So the first uh, result is just a direct extension uh, of of uh, of the result of Sochnikov that, that this thing has a has a scaling uh, so lambda j uh, all this uh, decreasing function of uh, sequence of decreasing functions uh, converges in uh, a distribution to 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 a limit which uh, uh, depends only on uh, whether we're in the real symmetric uh, case or complex uh, remission. The, the second, uh, n n now uh, the second thing is uh, I want to tell you something about this uh, uh, limiting, uh, about this limiting object. So I mean, uh, uh, it, it's, it's kind of, uh, I, I did, uh, I didn't decide it. What is the best name for it? Uh, one can think of it as a surface in some. So I mean, it's, uh, it's many surfaces one below uh, each other. So it's it's uh, somewhat uh, in the spi uh, in, in the spirit of what Ivan uh, told us about uh, uh, yesterday. But in a sense, it's simpler. There's no there's no intersection. Uh, uh, so the second the second statement. Uh, so I will tell you just two properties of of this object. And in the second technical part of the talk, I will give you. A description, uh, a kind of description, but 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 it will be a bit uh, clumsy. So for now, let me state just uh, two properties. First, the distribution of uh, 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 these lambda j's at uh, at uh, uh, at a, a k tuple of points uh, depends uh, only on uh, uh, the L1 uh, structure of, the, of this k. So it basically depends on, on the numbers sp minus sr plus uh, tp minus tr 
as uh, uh, p, uh, is it p uh, and r vary from one to k. Okay, so in particular, in particular, s and t uh, enters. So if you have a k tuple of points on the plane and you want to know how, what is the, uh, so, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to say something important. This convergence in the sense is in the sense of finite dimensional <coughs> marginals. Uh, in a second, we'll get to, to better notions of, of convergence. So, so, so uh, uh, if we look at finite dimensional marginals at a k tuple of points, it depends on the L1, uh, uh, L1 uh, shape of, of this configuration. So this two uh, is uh, introduced uh, so that the coefficients will be the same. Yeah, uh, exactly. Uh, and uh, uh, so, so uh, 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 and, and the second uh, part is that uh, 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 the process has uh, a continuous modification. So one, one can, uh, uh, I mean, uh, this convergence is uh, in sense of finite dimensional distributions, but one can find uh, a modification of this where, where all these lambda j's are continuous functions of S and uh, T. For bet equals two. Ah, uh, yeah, I will, uh, yeah, uh, thanks. Yeah, I will, uh, I will, uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, this is definitely correct. I will, I will, I will uh, 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 comment on that in, in, uh, in two seconds. Uh, let me just state the, the, the third uh, 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 theorem. So once we know that this process has a continuous modification, it may be natural to ask uh, whether we can upgrade it to convert this, conver this theorem to a functional limit theorem. Uh, as a function of S, uh, it's a bit messy since uh, 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 under these assumptions, before the limit, these functions were not continuous functions of S. So, so if you want to continue a, a, a functional limit theorem on two variables, you need to work in a square hot space. I think it's possible, but I uh, uh, kind of... I will state a more modest result only about the t var So in the, the t variable was, was discrete, so, uh, so we can, let's say, we linearly inter interpolate our function so that they're defined for, for, for continuous t. And, and, uh, and then, and then uh, lambda j m uh, of uh, zero t converges to lambda j of uh, 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 zero uh, uh, t. Uh, as m goes to infinity in distribution as uh, random continuous functions. Okay. So, so th this is uh, uh, what we uh, show. Okay, now now let me let me tell you let me tell you about. Uh, uh, so. Uh, uh, I mean, this is the, uh, for beta equals two, this is the area ensemble. So, okay, let, let me, uh, I mean, what, 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 once you, be, uh, uh, okay, let, let, let me tell you about uh, previous results. So all the previous uh, results, uh, which I know are about uh, the spatial case when beta equals two, the process is the Dyson Brownian motion and uh, the points, uh, uh, SP uh, TP uh, lie on 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 a, uh, on an L1 uh, geodesic, so uh, I mean, uh, uh, the which in the in the terminology which is more common here is called either space like or time like space so so, so 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 let me draw a picture. If this is our S, uh, if this is our S uh, T plane, then we can consider the joint distribution of uh, uh, these points, or we can consider, uh, I mean, uh, the, the, uh, 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 these points, for, for, the, for these two cases, their uh, 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 results from the, th from the integrable uh, theory, but as far, as far as I know, please uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, there, uh, 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 at present uh, nothing is known about the joint distribution at, at, at these uh, three points, since they don't lie on a, on a 
on L1 if you're basic. Okay, so 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 I'll stay. I'll stay. So 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 basically, what is known is that when beta equal what, what was uh, uh, known is that when beta equals two, and where in the uh, uh, case of Dyson Brownian motion, uh, 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 the distribution the, this process is restricted to an L1 geodesic is the area two uh, area two line ensemble. Uh, but now let, let me give more. Uh, let me give more precise references. So first, I mean there are several cases which were considered. The first case is fixed t and varying uh, s. Since by now you probably forgot what is t and what is s. Uh, t is the rescaled n and s is the rescaled tau. So this means we have one matrix which uh, uh, one matrix which evolves with uh, with time. And this was uh, this was studied by. Macedo uh, in the early 90s and later by Forrester, uh, Nagao, and, uh, uh, and Honor. Uh, uh, so since uh, this process is determinantal before uh, the limit, uh, the limit is also determinantal it's described by the so-called extended airy uh, kernel. Which I'll maybe uh, define later. Uh, so now this extended theory kernel uh, uh, re, uh, uh, appeared to be uh, very important, start, starting uh, 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 from the work of uh, Rehofer and Spohn, uh, who uh, 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 showed that it appears. He uh, describes the limit of certain random growth models. And uh, they, they were mainly interested in the in the uh, left in the rightmost line in the maximal in the, in the largest lambda, but but they they, they, uh, they considered actually all of them and proved, uh, uh, for example, that this uh, uh, process has a continuous uh, uh, modification. Uh, and then then it was uh, uh, studied by Johansson. Also, in the context of random growth, who uh, proved other uh, limiting theor uh, uh, theorems, and then and then it was uh, it it uh, uh, was incorporated into the framework of uh, line ensembles by uh, Corwin Hammond. Uh, uh, mm, uh, who, who studied its uh, 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 Gibbs properties, which which are uh, uh, kind of the the, the uh, 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 pre uh, uh, precursor to what uh, to what uh, Ivan told us about uh, 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 yesterday. So so uh, 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 so it's no it's known uh, uh, it was proved uh, uh, basically each one of these works gave uh, another. Uh, so it was first proved by Prokofiev and Spohn and later by in, in, in other by other methods by Johansson and later once again by Gordon and Hammond that, that this has a continuous modification. So so it course all this uh, corresponds to. Uh, Horizontal lines in the in the ST plane, so we, we fix uh, T and we vary S. Right. Now, now, now uh, uh, vertical lines, vertical lines were also uh, considered. Vertical lines meaning that we uh, don't have any stochastic evolution, but we uh, do have, uh, 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 but we do have. Uh, uh, do consider corners uh, all the corners simultaneously so uh, fixed uh, s which is our uh, time and varying t uh, was con uh, considered by uh, so and the the setting itself of uh, GUE minors is classical uh, the reference which appears in uh, in uh, the paper of Berdin is, is to Gelfand and Nymark from the 50s, and uh, I'm not sure uh, that is the earliest one. But but uh, 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 the determinantal structure was uh, identified by uh, Johansson and Nordenstam, and by Opinkov and Rishitichen. Uh, and the, scale, uh, the scaling limit was uh, studied by uh, Forrester and Nagao, uh, 
who uh, not uh, not surprisingly obtained uh, exactly the same limits. And so as, as we said, uh, uh, for, for all uh, L1, G, and S6, the limits should be the same. Uh, they, they got the, the, the same limit, right? Uh, next, uh, uh, when both uh, uh, S and T vary uh, along an L1 geodesic, uh, 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 apparently the, the, the process, uh, the Dyson Brownian motion uh, mine uh, corner process when restricted to a geodesic is still uh, determinantal. And this, uh, the formula were found by, by uh, uh, Adler, Van Merbeke, uh, and uh, Nordenstam, uh, I think I reversed the uh, alphabetic order, and also by Ferrari and Frings. And the and the scaling limit, uh, the scaling limit uh, appears in the uh, lecture notes of Patrick Ferrari this year. And uh, uh, still, not not surprisingly, the, the answer is still the same. It's still the, the same area two uh, uh, extended area kernel, the area two line ensemble. Okay. Uh, so these are the cases which which were uh, 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 pre previously uh, previously studied. Uh, all of them for, for the Dyson uh, uh, Brownian motion uh, corners, but equals two. And fi finally, I would like to comment on the case. Uh, by t equals to one, there is a there is a, a, a random process which appears naturally in in uh, in uh, 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 random growth, which was introduced by Sasamoto. It's called the Airy one uh, uh, process, and for some time it was conjectured that uh, that uh, uh, Dyson Brownian motion at by t equals to one has some connection to it, but this is apparently uh, uh, false. So so. There is quite convincing numerical work by uh, Borneman, uh, Ferrari, and Verhofer, which tells that uh, 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 this has no connection. Uh, well, maybe there is a connection. It has no direct connection b beyond uh, one one point marginals uh, uh, to uh, the airy uh, one. Uh, Process introduced uh, introduced uh, by Sasamoto. Uh, uh, that's why that's why the connection of uh, this talk to uh, uh, KPZ and to random growth uh, in general is 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 only indirect. Okay, so 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 uh, up to now I've stated the uh, results and uh, and uh, told you about previous work in the second half of the. Talk, uh, talk. I want to tell you some technical uh, details, but if if uh, uh, if, uh, if you have some questions uh, before that, I'll do. So did you identify the, the process? Yeah, I can identify the process, but it will be in the in, the, in it will the identification will be in a clumsy language, which is much less elegant. Uh, th this is what I want to tell. Uh, this is really what I want to tell. I want to give you a, a description of this, pro of this process, b which works in all these cases, both by t equals one and two, and geodesics and non-geodesics. But it will be in a much less uh, uh, concise form than the determinantal processes that we are used to. So I, I, I think it's an error. I think that eventually there will be a concise description. Just uh, some. Uh, I mean, I just I don't know. I mean, I don't know how to state it. Uh, I mean, I will be happy to. Do the, 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 I have uh, I, I've kind of finished checking this on Friday, and uh, I, 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 for now, I am rather confident that the statement, uh, the theorems are correct. I, I uh, haven't. I, mean, I will be glad, glad to discuss uh, <laughs> further uh, ideas. Okay, so. Uh, so, uh, uh, I mean, at least in, in uh, well, uh, first of all, they're in some sense universal. Uh, uh, well, I mean, uh, I don't want to abuse the word uh, universality, but but it's uh, 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 
uh, uh, uh, their peer, their peer, uh, their peer uh, naturally and their restriction to at least their at least for for beta equals two and and uh, and uh, 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 restri the restriction to genetic lines has approved uh, has approved connection to random growth, which which I think uh, doesn't uh, require justification. I, I think. Uh, uh, Conjecturally, also the non-geodesic parts are uh, should should uh, should appear as a limit to random growth. The problem is there is that there is here all the formulas are restricted to to space like uh, to what uh, Birdin Ferrari calls space like and time like paths. So 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 uh, there's uh, at the moment there is no way to check it. But uh, 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 I believe that at least for beta equals two, uh, th this should uh, this should. Uh, Something like this should should appear in random growth. Uh, uh, I just don't at, at this at this moment. I don't have uh, much to, 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 to say about it. Um, I, 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 I agree. I, I, no, I don't have. Uh, indeed, I don't. I mean, I don't have a good answer to 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 this uh, question, since mainly since I didn't uh, yet have the, the the time to think about it seriously. I, I, I mean, this. this uh, 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 I think the the the, uh, the corners of Dyson Brownian motion are are, are uh, natural objects by themselves, and and uh, to identify the, the, their scaling limit is, is a kind of uh, uh, probabilistic is is a, is a natural uh, task. But but to discuss I mean, uh, it's, it's natural to ask whether the same process will appear anywhere else. I I, I don't I don't uh, I don't. No, I mean for band matrices, if you if you are in the regime when you when uh, you have delocalized uh, w when you have uh, the reprocess at the edge, then you you should I mean all this goes through. Uh, goes yeah, through. sure, it's, it's not it's not. I mean it just doesn't uh, it doesn't seem to, to. I mean you you can you can uh, you can combine this with any other with with any other model where you can prove an uh, uh, area limit theorem at the edge. I, I believe the, the the combination won't require. Uh, uh, any uh, ideas behind what is in each part separately? So, so, okay, so, so uh, uh, another question. So, I, you're reviewing all the literature. So is, is the literature applied to both data equals one? No, no, no. All the literature is only, all this literature is only about beta equals two and points restricted to NL1 geodesic. Uh, for beyond that, as far as I know, there is nothing. Uh, at least I am not aware of anything. And uh, uh, if, if, uh, if I miss something, please. Uh, so that's why the, uh, so the, 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 that's why it, uh, okay okay now let me tell you about the, the description so what I want to uh, what I want to show is how to compute all the all the correlations of, of this uh, process uh, well unfortunately the description will be so, so I mean, uh, elements of the proof uh, 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 so uh, uh, I mean, let rho, let rho k, which depends on S1, T1, uh, S2, T2, S, uh, K, uh, T, K be the kth correlator, meaning that uh, this at points lambda 1 to lambda p is the probability to find uh, uh, a point uh, uh, at, at, at S1, T1, lambda 1, S2, T2, lambda 2, and uh, so forth. So the, the usual... Uh, Okay, no, p varies from one to k. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, so uh, what we want to compute? Uh, we'll, we'll give some kind of description of this, and more precisely, what uh, what uh, we'll compute is the integral of product from as p varies from, goes from one to k of sine of alpha p square root of minus lambda p divided by alpha p square root of minus lambda p uh, uh, d rho k. S1, T1, up to SK, TK of lambda 1 to lambda P. So I, I will comment on this uh, strange expression in, in uh, 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 briefly. What, what, what uh, 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 the, the main thing which I want to say now is that this will only depend uh, uh, of, uh, 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 on, on the 
numbers, uh, well, obviously on alpha p, but also on, on S, sp minus sr plus uh, tp minus uh, tr. So this will be, uh, in this expression, only only uh, uh, s and t's enter only in this uh, combination. So so if we believe uh, that this, trans uh, this strange transform is invertible, which is indeed uh, 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 the case, we, we, uh, uh, we get uh, 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 this property. Yeah, yeah, P and P and well, P is less than R. So, so it's uh, uh, you look at a k-tuple. Uh, the, the 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 answer depends only on the L1 geometry of this k-tuple. Okay, so um, uh, let me make a brief uh, digression about this uh, transform and uh, and. Uh, uh, how it uh, how it appears uh, in th in this problem? So so uh, 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 yeah, and well, the, the, this function will be complicated in the sense that it will be a, a sum of an infinite series, but uh, but the series will be convergent and uh, will have all the terms will be of this form. Okay, so digression. Uh, uh, so. Uh, um, the idea is as follows. So in first approximation, the sum of the, our empirical uh, uh, spectral measure, the sum of uh, delta functions at, uh, uh, at uh, the eigenvalues, let me omit the index, uh, the, the multiple indices for now, it's, 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 uh, is given by Wigner's law. Now the question is how to, if something is approximately given by Wigner's law, in which language to describe, uh, to describe uh, the corrections? So one of the, one of the uh, options is as follows. So let's look at uh, uh, Chebyshev polynomials of the second kind, which are defined by this formula as usual. And th there the orthogonal polynomials with respect to this measure. So if, uh, if this would be a precise equality, if we would integrate this polynomial so with respect to this, we'll just get uh, n for, for when little n is zero and zero afterwards, right, by, by orthogonality. So, so, uh, so the idea is that if we integrate this with respect to this measure, uh, we'll, uh, we'll capture the corrections to, we'll, this will capture the corrections to Wigner. So, so, uh, so let me write this down, the trace of uh, uh, u zero of, uh, of uh, hn divided by twice square root of n is equal to n, since this is uh, identically 1. And the further traces uh, uh, describe uh, uh, corrections uh, to the semicircle. Zero. The zero of polynomial is one, so this is just one because it's there in the points, and uh, the other ones describe correct describe corrections. Uh, um, okay. Uh, yeah. So uh, maybe I should have uh, said it uh, uh, here. So all all the part. I mean, all this technical part is uh, definitely. So I mean, what I will tell you right now is is uh, kind of a, a variation of what is written and. In our uh, paper with the Hadfield Hem on on, uh, on uh, age universality for sample covariance matrices, but well, one one can also uh, in some different form one can actu actually do it by uh, really by the methods of of, of Soshnikov. So so uh, uh, I'll uh, I'll show you where the time dependence centers. It will be at the very end. Uh, uh, okay. So so. Uh, 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 so these 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 uh, higher Chebyshev polynomials describe the corrections to the semicircle. So I mean these are these are random uh, quantities, but but one can look at uh, their moments. The expectation of products uh, SP goes the products of uh, U and P of uh, H uh, N P uh, tau P over two square root of uh, N P, and these uh, describe the 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 uh, corrections uh, describe how much the kth correlator uh, 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 before any limit cor uh, deviates from the kth, uh, the kth power of, of, of Wigner's law. So, so. Now we need, to do, now, now what we, we need to do, we need to go to, uh, to, go to, a, to a, a scaling limit. 
yeah, the word scaling it already appears here. So. So now we need to go to the scaling limit, so we need to rescale everything. Uh, uh, so we need to, basically, we need to take uh, this n of order alpha n to the one third. Uh, uh, to see that this is the right scaling, you can just look at uh, 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 these expressions and how they behave at the uh, near one and minus one. And then and what, one, what we get by, by a very simple computation is uh, that uh, uh, one to the n to the one third trace of u alpha n to the one third of uh, h n divided by two square root of n is uh, approximately equal to the sum, so uh, to the sum of uh, sine alpha square root of minus lambda j n divided by alpha square root of minus lambda j n, so which is exactly uh, the strange transform of the of the eigenvalues plus uh, a similar term, which is the contribution of the left uh, H of the spectrum, which is exactly of the same form, except that it has an alternate, alternating sign. Okay. So, uh, so, so in order to, uh, so we get, if, if we know how to study this uh, transformer, it's moments, then we get, then we get uh, 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 the description. Now, what are these, uh, now what are these functions? Lambda goes to sine of alpha square root of minus lambda divided by alpha square root of minus lambda. Uh, well, we got them as scaling limits of orthogonal polynomials, so not surprisingly there are something like orthogonal uh, uh, polynomials, and indeed there, uh, this object was, I mean, uh, th there's something called continuous analog of orthogonal polynomials. It was introduced by Crane in the, in the, in the 50s, and these are the c continuous orthogonal polynomials with respect to uh, uh, with respect to the measure uh, which we get by rescaling the Wigner uh, uh, semicircle uh, near the edge, uh, right? So uh, these uh, we rescale Wigner, we get this uh, square root of minus lambda, and, uh, and these are the orthogonal polynomials. They indeed behave like orthogonal polynomials. So, for example, here they oscillate, and here they uh, here they grow uh, exponentially. So, so I mean, they they have they have. Uh, uh, they retain features uh, which were for the limit and uh, zero when, so when you have a negative number in the square root. Uh, and they oscillate as well? I mean, you just. Uh, oh, when you're putting it in the sign. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, when, you put, when, you, when lambda is uh, positive, this is a hyperbolic sign, so they uh, start growing and. and uh, yeah. No, it's a, it's a different formula. Okay, so now I should, uh, I mean, uh, uh, what I need to tell you is, at l I mean, the minimum thing I need to tell you is why is this transform invertible. So uh, invertibility of this transform is kind of the continuous analog of uniqueness in the moment problem. And it, so, uh, I mean, th this, trans this was, uh, uh, these creatures and things like that appeared, uh, were studied in the, in the, Fifth is because they appear in the uh, uh, gilfand levitan solution to the inverse inverse uh, uh, problem for, for Schrodinger operators. That's why there is a, there is some literature, and in particular their uniqueness uh, uh, theorems uh, for this transform, which are uh, there is one due to uh, levitan, and there are more sophisticated ones due to uh, levitan and Maimon and, uh, and to Wool. But for the for the purpose of what we need, uh, the simplest uh, kind of uh, variations of the simplest idea is uh, sufficient. Okay, so uh, so what I've explained so far is that if we manage to compute to uh, to compute the asymptotics of the moments of this and in, uh, of these uh, creatures, the mixed moments, then we'll get uh, 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 this transform, which which defines uh, which defines uh, the process uniquely. So so. Uh, 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 and that's what we So uh, the, the, uh, you have this measure. It's not a probability measure. Therefore, you can't uh, have real pol true polynomials. So the, the 
it's I mean these are orthogonal with respect it's it's like a it's 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 adapted to this measure so yeah. it's 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 a, it's a, a so so you know the, 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 so yeah it has a continuous parameter because that's uh, the yeah, way it should right. be but, uh, but but also it has a, a, it's really orthogonal polynomial so you have the gram the, the continuous gram schmidt procedure which is exactly the gilfand levitan equations uh, which which uh, 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 I mean, the, this is exactly what I mean. Maybe we can discuss this later. But this is exactly the the procedure which which. Uh, well, I think with that weight, it just becomes like it's just like sine, it's just like a side analogy of sine. Ah, sure. No, the fact that they're orthogonal is obvious. Yeah. yeah I, 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 uh, I mean, their completeness also must be fairly obvious. Their completeness is also obvious. Yeah. But uh, but uniqueness is not the same as completeness. Uniqueness is a more complicated thing because because you you don't uh, you're not uh, you don't know a priori that you live in this uh, in this L two space. So so you you, you you need to yeah. Uh, 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 the, the, this require I mean the, the completeness in L two is obvious. This require requires some more complex analysis uh, fragment. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so the claim is that now the claim is that you can take this uh, creature, the, the 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 expectation of the product. Uh, now I uh, put back or reintroduce all the indices, uh, uh, traces of u and p of uh, tau p h and p divided by two square root of n p. Uh, uh, and and we can express uh, this as a converge. Uh, 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 this is this is uh, uh, one plus little of one times a convergent uh, uh, sum, which which we want to, to 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 describe at least when the sum of n p is uh, even, when the sum of n p of the n p is odd. This is identically zero because the contribution of the right edge uh, cancels. Uh, I have one parameter uh, m where where and and so I'm in I'm in the subvertical regime when n p is alpha p two times m to the one third uh, tau p is uh, is uh, and and uh, tau p and n p are as before this is m plus times one plus two t p times m to the one third and tau p is uh, s p to the m to the one third where all these alphas uh, alpha s and t are fixed and m goes to infinity. So then the same scaling uh, limit, which which uh, in which the theorem uh, uh, works, we scale we scale we scale uh, ends and we scale uh, the. Uh, in this limit, uh, uh, this gives us exactly uh, exactly this. So so if we if we find if we compute this, then we have also need this. When, when, uh, uh, this is, uh, uh, I need to assume that the sum of the, of these NPs is even. I mean, th th there's this issue of the left edge uh, uh, for, for even, when the sum of the indices of the, like for moments, when the sum of the indices is even, then the right edge and the left edge add, and when uh, it's odd, then uh, you s uh, they kind of, they come with different signs, so they cancel. So when, when, when the sum of all these indices is uh, odd, then, then uh, this term is identically zero. If, if it's even, then, uh, then uh, it is twice what we, I mean, so the, the, sum of it's, uh, the sum of the contribution of the left and right edge. Okay, I, I think I uh, don't have much time to, to go into more details, but at least I want to draw some pictures. So, uh, so, uh, um, mm, uh, uh, so in, in uh, uh, okay, let me just state uh, one, uh, two ingredients. So, um, one thing is that what, uh, how to compute this uh, un of h n to the two square root of n. And uh, uh, the claim is that this is approximately equal to one to the n to the n over two times the, uh, it, so it's, it's something very similar to moments. It's the sum of h u zero u one, h u one, u two, up to h uh, u n minus one u zero, where the sum is overall uh, is over n tuples u zero u one u two and and so forth, but but it's not unlike moments. It's not the sum overall all n tuples uh, 
uh, it, it, it is the sum of over tuples which satisfy the non-backtracking condition. So uj should be different from uj plus two. We're not allowed to, if this is uj and this is uj plus one, uh, we, we're not allowed to return immediately to where we came. So this uh, performs some kind of self-energy normalization in the language of, of, uh, of uh, 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 perturbation theory. Uh, this performs kind of uh, self-energy normalization. It, uh, kills, it kills all the um, uh, planar uh, part, the, the contribution of trees. So uh, this approximate uh, equality is not, is, not uh, is, is, is really quite a nuisance to justify. It's, it's not really, uh, an, uh, unfortunately, it's not really an equality. It's, 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 uh, there are some error terms and, uh, and uh, it's, it's really a nuisance. In, in our work with OHAD, we, we came up with, un, with one procedure which allows to control the error terms and then uh, in the setting of band matrices, uh, Laszlo Erdos and Antinolis uh, developed another way to control uh, this. But anyhow, it's, I mean, it's, it's done and uh, the application to time-dependent matrices doesn't uh, require new, new ideas. So we can just plug, uh, plug in uh, our setting and what uh, I was done before. So, uh, so, so what we need to understand is the uh, contribution of these non-backtracking paths. And I'll just say a few words. So, so, so uh, uh, non-backtracking paths have a classification. So uh, uh, you, can, you can classify, you can divide them into uh, uh, equivalence uh, classes which which have uh, which have a kind of topological which have a topological meaning so let me just you know, my time is almost over so let me just uh, uh, draw you one particular case of one equivalence class for k equals two and and, and then I'll stop so so uh, uh, one example of uh, 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 yeah I'm sorry being in a hurry is not a good idea so uh, uh, these are non uh, these are non backtracking paths, but we need to look at moments of this. So we, we look at the expectation of this thing uh, square of, of a product of two uh, of these things. So we get contribution with of, of no, I think it is not very it's not a very good idea. Okay, this this uh, the, <laughs> the, the 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 paths which which uh, which appear have a classification, and it is possible to estimate to estimate uh, their contribution somewhat and get the answer. I will be happy to tell the details to anyone interested later, but not in uh, not instead of cookies. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your attention. Uh, uh,